All right, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com. And I've had several people ask me, all right, Chad, so we're going through this course. We're going through uh, Drupal Gardens and stuff. But when I go to do my Drupal site, am I going to be able to customize? Um, am I going to be able to customize my site? Am I going to be able to go in and make it look the way I want it to look? And the answer is yes, yes, yes. Um, you, you're going to be able to totally make it look however you want to, um, ranging from learning CSS and different things, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. This is the way I use to get my sites up. Uh, when I saw this product, I jumped on it. Uh, it's going to save you days and days and days and days of, uh, frustrating work, uh, to get it done. This is called Artist Steer and, uh, it's over at artiststeer.com or just click on the link below here. And, uh, once it comes up, this is the very first thing it comes up with. Uh, I'll just go through it and show you how easy it is. We'll pick a Drupal template. And it's going to come up and it's going to give you suggestion ideas uh, on this. So here it is. It's loading up. All right. And this is the first one, which is very nice, actually. Uh, the first one that pops up. Now, remember, as you're going through this, do not get hung up. Oh, I don't like this header. You can change it. Oh, I don't like this uh, this green here. I'd rather have brown or something like that. Don't get caught up on that. And especially the backgrounds might throw you. Like, I really don't like palm trees. Just look at the design because everything is changeable here. Everything is changeable. So as you scroll down, you, you ask yourself, well, do I like the left-hand side, uh, the mini bar being on the left-hand side, or would I rather have it on the right? If you like the design, um, go in here, and we can go to Layout. Go to page layout here. And notice that you can pick your different headers. And the cool thing is, if you'll just mouse over it for a second, it'll change here. So you can go up and look at what we're talking about. And yeah, kind of like that maybe. Or maybe I like that a little better. Uh, you can just see how it puts it on top there. Uh, you can kind of see. Uh, here I am pointing at the screen. and <laughs> Sorry about that. But also over here under layout, you can choose. Do you want it on the right hand side? Just mouse over just a little bit here and you're going to find that it switches it right over here. And um, so you can design this however you want. I'm going to go with this design right here. Now, I don't really like the background, so let's change this to this background. That's kind of nicer, but I'd really prefer something a little more tame so let's go over here and just mouse over it for a second and that's okay not what I'm looking for and yeah I kinda like that for some reason that's more my style and let's go over here to header and let's put a little guy on it and the little guy appears right here uh, on the side and then you can come over here and choose a background or uh, now, I'm not going to do this. You can import your own uh, from file right here. So you could go in and import it. Now, I I'm just going to use one of their stock ones here. Uh, maybe this sunset right there. And so now you've got a really nice site going along there. It's kind of got, you know, a professional look there. And you can go in and change the sidebar. Uh, the sidebar styling, you can come in and just, you know, with no style right there. You mouse over that. And you can see that there's no style on the right hand side. But I kind of like what they've got. I'll just go over it real quick. Um, and let me let me say this. You get the gist of what this can do and the power it, it can bring. But rem let's just go from left and right. First of all, you can set up ideas. For example, if you really don't like that layout, hit the suggest ideas right there. Or suggest designs. And uh, it'll give you a brand new suggestion. Simple, easy, quick. Uh, you can suggest colors. Um, once you've got the color that you like, you can tweak it. You say, man, I really like that one, which I don't. I like the previous one but a little bit more. You can suggest font types on there. You can change the font type. Maybe you want it smaller like they did. Uh, you can suggest different layouts. You can suggest the different backgrounds, which I definitely would on this. Maybe we suggest it one more time. And uh, this is fun to play play with and stuff. You can suggest different headers on it. And go through and look at all the different suggestions. Now, um, 
colors and fonts. You can suggest colors right on the colors and fonts and they'll change it up for you. But right here you can fine tune it. Let's say it's close but you're not really liking that pink. You like it a little darker. And uh, you can change the design just like that. You can change all the colors, the fonts, uh, layout. You can suggest or choose the layouts which we went over. Background, uh, If you do you want it to fade? Uh, we can do that. You can do the glare uh, sheet. And what that is, is it just gives you the option for shadowing uh, or borders around your uh, entire sheet, <laughs> your page. You can see, if we click that, you can see the brown border right here. And then the header, uh, which we looked at a little bit, you can choose different uh, headers for this. You have complete control of the headers. Uh, the menu, uh, the menu bar right here. You can decide the different ways the menu is going to show up. And we'll just do this. And once the menu shows up, which we didn't have it on that particular lay layout, you can even decide what kind of buttons you want for this. Say you want rounded buttons. And um, there you go, rounded buttons. You can go into the colors right here. Uh, what about article style? What do you want in this article? Um, what kind of style? You can set that right under articles. Sidebar, you can get really in-depth on the sidebars, what they look like what the colors are and so forth. Vertical menu um, is the little drop down menu right here. You can decide what colors you want, how it looks and so forth. And then the buttons. This is for example the login button or if you had a button right here for search right there. This is what buttons are. And then finally the footer which you can, can totally control what your footer looks like. This is a great way to design a Drupal site. Now, I went really fast over this. If you're interested in me covering this more, um, if you want a more in-depth uh, look at this, let me know. I'll go through it, and I'll make a 30-minute lesson out of it and show you exactly how to use it. Uh, but I, you know, I just want to throw it out there to you. I had several people asking how I do it, and so this is it. Uh, the cost on it is to get the Drupal feature. Now, there's a $49 version out there. It doesn't have the Drupal ver uh, features on it. There is a $129 version. And let me tell you, you're going to make your, uh, your money back in the time you save. I mean, this thing is a time saver. You're going to uh, save days and days and days. It's already saved me uh, at least a week's worth of work. I can sit down in uh, less than an hour, design a site, and be up and done with it. Uh, whereas before, it would take me a day or two or three to get the site right, and, the, and, and that's per site. So if you're looking at um, designing sites for other people, use this program. You'll pay for it the first time. Uh, it, it's a no-brainer. The final thing you need to know about this program is how to export what you've got to Drupal. So here you go. Go to File and export Drupal theme, not HTML page. That's a, if you're just doing HTML, do a Drupal theme. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. You can save it as a folder or a zip file. Now, if you save it as a folder, you have to FTP it over to your Drupal site, and you would save that under Sites All Themes. Uh, you just put that folder in there, uh, and whatever name you name it here is going to be the name of the folder. If you zip it over there, sometimes it's a little faster. Uh, if you zip it and then you unzip it on the server. Um, if you don't know how to unzip it on your server, then just make it a folder. FTP over to your site's all themes. All right. Well, that's how you export, push export, and enjoy. Once you get it over to your site, then when you go to your Drupal site, then you go to themes, then you'll be able to see that as a theme listed in your Drupal site, and you can select it and enable it. Final thing is, is if you click on the link below uh, in the YouTube box there, or if you're on the site, uh, if you click on that, it'll help. Uh, to support my site, I make a little bit back on that and just want to be upfront on that that yes, I do make a little bit back on that link. That's how I make my living. All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all later.